Hi guys, Macman here. Um, so I came out the loading room this morning and decided I was going to uh, prep some 223 brass. So I'm going to get it run up on my Dillon 1050 with a Mark 7 auto drive on it. So I thought I'd show you guys um, how I prep my 223 brass. It's nice, quick and easy. And uh, let's run through and see how it goes. So here's the here's the setup of the 1050. And the screen over here. So what I've got is in the first station here, I'm using the FW high speed pro dies. So the first one's a decapper, and then the second one is for doing the, the swage of the primer pockets. So it actually pushes down inside, the lever comes up and swages inside. Um, not the greatest, I still like to do cuts, but with these brass, this is commercial brass, it's not military brass. So I'm not too worried about the actual swaging part of this today. So, so in, like I said, so in the first setup here, the deprimer going over into the, the swager. And then round the back here then, I don't know if you can see it in this station here. This is where I got my setup for trimming. So most of this brass is round about 1.760. Um, I'm trimming it back to 1.7, it says in the book 1.750. I'm doing 1.752, I just set up and they're coming out to 752. And then in the last station, um, we're just putting a tiny, tiny flare on the neck. It's about four thou, just so it just opens it up just a touch to accept the bullets. So that's the setup, guys. So it's going to get a little bit loud. I'll try and run this a little bit without the vacuum going. Oh, let me just show you that. So, so with the with the trimmer, I got it set up on a vacuum. You can see the hose goes right across, and I got my my shop vac mounted on the wall there and it just sucks all the all the shavings off the the brass so i just got it looped around just set up in here so the normally we'll set the the trimmers going i've got this set at the lowest speed at the moment it's set at a thousand and then we can just hit run everything's all set up just hit run, and there you go, and off she goes. So like the first one, see that, popping the primers out. Second one, just if there's a crimp on it, it would be removing the crimp. Around in the back there. Around the back here, yes, you can see that. It's around the back here. It's doing the trim on that station, it's putting the trim on it. And then back around here, the last station then, just flaring it just a touch. If I get a piece of brass out, you can see all nicely trimmed, deprimed, sized. So all they need to go in now is because these have all been lubed. Um, they just need to go into the tumbler for a couple of hours. They're already clean going in there. So um, they just need to tumble for a couple of hours. So this is set to the slower speed. I'm going to put the vacuum on guys. It's going to get loud because otherwise it's going to clog and we speed this thing up. the moment this is running at 1000 we can take it up to 1500 a little bit faster we can now take it up to 2000 just by hitting the button now it's moving a little bit faster again Now it's running at 2500. This is where I like to run it. 
I can go up another three speed, but I like to run it there. You can see that. So guys, I've switched the machine off now, so you can see we've got quite a few bits of brass just in a few few minutes. So I've got a block. Just drop some of these into the block. And there you can see, pull that out. So they're all, all level. They're all going into the block. So the sides are imperfect. see that and then I, I just pop some of these out they still got a bit of lube in them so they're a bit sticky and then the sewer measure so like I think I said so there's that one at 1.751 1. One point seven five one for that one. Get another one in there. One point seven five one. Seven five one. So that's four of them. That's the fifth one that came out of that block. One point seven five one. Two more just to finish that little section we did there you go 1.751 and then the last one that was in that block 1.751 so you can see guys they're super consistent coming out um, every now and again I'll get one which still protrudes from this block a little bit and I just quickly resize it again and it seems to be fine sometimes there might be a little bit of dirt on them they are coming out pretty clean. I'll still go through them and just do a quick deburr on them just to finish them off inside and out just so that they're, they're nice and neat and tidy. But you can see it's a, it's a great machine. Um, it works really well for me. Bit noisy, but I probably could run through when I'm doing this. Um, I will probably get a couple of thousand of these done now in this session it says it's going to do 2500 rounds um, an hour which probably is about right but obviously you keep stopping checking everything keep loading the hopper up um, so it's, it's closer to 2000 probably by the time I, 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 I finish messing around with everything but uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed this video guys if you do please like share and subscribe 
also I got my channel over on Rumble uh, Macman 039 reloading you can take a look at some of the stuff over there as well and I got that raffle running um, for Echo so please take a look at that and see what you think that's great guys thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next